Mac Jones, in his rookie year, was far superior to Josh Allen in his rookie year. So, based on that trajectory, to rule out the fact that Mac Jones could possibly be one day as good or better than Josh Allen is just you, Bills fans, self-soothing. Even from a physical standpoint, it is impossible for Mac Jones to become Josh Allen. The physical traits, the God-given traits, are so polar opposite. It is, it is quite literally impossible. Mac Jones is never leaping over a linebacker. Oh, my God. He's never hit-sticking a 250-pound defensive player for a first down. That, to me, is what people don't get. Like, stats are different. Like, and that, that, that's, that goes the same for all these quarterbacks, all these greats. There's only one Josh Allen. Aaron Rodgers can't do that and couldn't do that. Peyton Manning could never do that. Tom Brady could never do that, ever. Yes, of course, they are the GOATs, the elite, the best of the best. But everybody wants to say that they could become Josh Allen. You can't. You can't. He does things that no one else has ever done, ever. Yes, there are other quarterbacks who could come out of college and, and be similar. I think that's where the position is heading. I mean, look at it now. Justin Herbert's similar to that. Mahomes is like that. Allen's like that, of course. I think Burrow's got parts of it, but he's not nearly as athletic. But that's where the position's heading. If, if you wanted to assume what the absolute best possible outcome for Mac Jones could be, it would be like Peyton Manning, right? He's never going to be able to move. He's never going to be mobile. He's never going to be athletic. He would have to become one of the best pocket presents in the last 20 years if he wanted to be on a similar level as far as ranking quarterbacks is concerned to Josh Allen. Because not only is Josh Allen terrific in the pocket, he's also probably the best rushing quarterback in the league outside of Lamar Jackson, whose entire game is built on that. Mac Jones will only be able to win you a game in the pocket. There's an infinite amount of things that Josh Allen can do. This is why I don't ever understand these things. I, it blows my mind. Mac Jones would have to be like an all-time great pocket passer. In all time, he would have to be essentially Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, if he would want to ascend to the top of the league the way the league is now being built. I mean, let's take let's take away what Deshaun Watson's situation is, right? And let's just go back to what he was when he was on the field. Unbelievably athletic, unbelievable athleticism, and it can throw an incredible ball. You look at what's winning now. Deshaun Watson, Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Trey Lance, who they went out, the 49ers trade everything in their mother away to get after because Jimmy Garoppolo, who was a pretty damn good pocket presence, that, is, that right there is probably your best example. Jimmy Garoppolo is better than Mac Jones. But the 49ers tr traded away the franchise to get a guy like Trey Lance. Why? Because Kyle Shanahan thinks Trey Lance can be a Josh Allen. He knows damn well Jim, Jimmy Garoppolo can't. That's also why he took Trey Lance and not Mac Jones in the same draft. The flame that Josh Allen lit is the same flame that he is being burnt by when it comes to him being compared to everybody else in the league. He lit the flame that is now the unicorn quarterback. The best example is the one I just brought up. It's what the Niners did. The Niners, did we? they just went to the NFC Championship six months ago with Jimmy Garoppolo. They beat Aaron Rodgers in Lambeau with Jimmy Garoppolo. Yet they are going to cut him before week one if they can't find a trading partner because they want a guy who is like Josh Allen even though they just went to an NFC championship and they went to a Super Bowl with him two years prior to that, they know that that's not going to be the future of this league. So they trade away the entire future to get a guy that is going to be that new NFL. And Trey Lance has all the physical attributes to potentially be a guy like Josh Allen. You know, if it, say, say Trey Lance goes out this year and has a very similar year to what Josh Allen did his rookie year, if not a little bit better, right? I don't think it would be that nuts for a 49ers fan to say, I think that Trey Lance could be better than Josh Allen. 
because at least he has the tools to be able to be a similar style player. The ceiling for Mac Jones is what it is. The guy can only do so much. He will never, ever, ever be able to be anything remotely close to what Josh Allen is on the field. And the only way he could possibly be better is if he takes what is currently right now a New England roster that is just bad. It is bad. It is one of the most high, highly overpaid offenses in the league. They have the highest paid wide receiver room and the highest paid tight end room. You could barely name me who the hell is going to catch the ball this season. So he would have to take that situation. And in order to be considered one of the best quarterbacks in the league and make up for his blatant lack of athleticism would have to be throwing balls out of the pocket. Unlike we've ever seen. I mean, we would have to see dimes from the likes of, like I said, Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Drew Brees. That's what we would have to see out of Mac Jones.